Is calculus really useless in engineering? Many students debate the usefulness of calculus in the curriculum, with some even claiming they'll never use it. But is that actually true? Well, let's start with the most common answer, learning calculus improves your logical reasoning, which is crucial in an engineer's professional life, considering that engineers are, above all, problem solvers. But reducing calculus to just that would be a serious mistake. In almost any engineering project, calculus will be necessary, sometimes directly, other times indirectly. Even when you're building something, you need to understand how changes in geometry affect structural resistance. The same goes for welding, you need to understand how changes in microstructure influence the final result. For example, designing a boiler requires in-depth knowledge of thermodynamics and strength of materials, and it's impossible to truly master those subjects without calculus, because every textbook in those fields uses derivatives and integrals to explain physical phenomena. Think about an aircraft engine, its entire design is surrounded by concepts of heat transfer, fluid mechanics, and thermodynamics, which are areas that heavily rely on calculus. How would you design the blade of a wind turbine without understanding aerodynamics? You can't realistically simulate it without knowing and understanding the Navier-Stokes equations, and that's exactly why differential and integral calculus are so important. If you're curious about the most important equations in history, don't forget to check out our full video, where we cover everything from the Pythagorean theorem to Schrodinger's equation.